Multiplying integers. So you should have a notes organizer that looks a lot like this one right here. And we're going to focus on my page anyways on the bottom section right here. It should be the left section in your notes, um, the inside. And kind of the left and in the middle we'll, we'll do some examples once we get some notes down. So I'm going to go to the expanded version right here and multiplying integers. Of course, when we're talking about integers, we're talking about numbers that can be either positives or negatives. We can also include zero, but not uh, decimals or fractions, so not anything that has a fractional part to it. Um, so in our first example, it's pretty straightforward, but it gets us started where we need to to kind of gain an understanding uh, and move forward. So we have five times four. We'll notice that the five and the four are both positives. A lot of you guys know the answer to this, 5 times 4, anybody? Yeah, the answer is going to be 20. So, um, you'll notice our answer is a positive answer. We have a positive 5 times a positive 4 is going to get us a positive answer. So, it, we're going to write this in real quick. I know you know this, but like I said, it gets us a good starting point. So, a positive times, and I'm going to use a multiplication sign here times a positive equals a positive answer. And um, I'm also including this because once you start working with um, a lot of negatives and you're multiplying negatives by negatives and negative number integers, that is, by positives, once two positive uh, numbers get thrown in there in an equation, there's a tendency to to kind of get confused and, and trip yourself up and forget that your answer is going to be positive. So I want to make sure we remember that. So just make sure you have that information in. And we're going to move on to the middle box and talk about uh, multiplying a negative times a positive or a positive multiplied by a negative. And we've got an example right there at the bottom. We're going to add to it. But we've got a negative 5 times 4. You'll notice the, the 5 is a negative. And we're multiplying by a positive number, by a positive 4. So the question is, is our answer going to be a positive answer, or is it going to be a negative answer? Well, here's what we're going to do. If we, if we made this visual right here, this is basically like saying this is negative 5 four times. So there's 2, there's 3, and there's 4. And you guys can write this in the top of your notes too. But if we combined all of these negative 5s right here, we would get an answer of negative 20 because all these negative 5s, 4 times, would give us a negative 20. Well, that's the same as our equation. Negative 5 times 4 is going to equal negative 20. The thing to remember is if you're multiplying a negative by a positive, if one of your integers has a negative number in it, then your answer is going to be a negative. So anytime you've got a negative integer multiplied by a positive, you're going to get a negative answer. Let's try another example. Let's say um, we reversed it. So let's say it was 5 times a negative 4 right here. Now, again, we look at the 5 is a positive number, but the 4 is a negative. It's got that negative sign. So that means the answer that we get is going to be a negative. And again, 5 times 4 is 20. So we'll get negative 20 on this one also, even if the negative sign goes on the 4 instead of the 5. So here's what we need to write in to remember this, okay? And uh, we have some space. We have to write in a little bit here, so try to write small. But a negative times a positive equals... A negative answer and this also means I can put a 1 here and then a 2 here a positive times so I'll hit the gray button there but that's okay times a negative Sorry, that is a G right there. 
negative equals also a negative answer. So if you just have one negative sign in there, then your answer is going to be negative when you get that. So make sure you have that information written in right there. And then let's go on to our final box, the bottom box right here. Negative times a negative. Okay, well our example is a negative 5 times a negative 4. Well what do we do when we're multiplying two negative integers by one another? Got the negative 5, got the negative 4. Well a lot of people will tell me that negative 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And 5 times 4 is 20, but the negative part of that is going to be incorrect. Basically these negatives cancel each other out right here, okay? So when we do 5 times 4, they cancel each other out, and we're left with just 20. So um, let's try another example right here. Let's say we did negative 6 times something like uh, negative 7, okay? And uh, you need to know what 6 times 7 is, but if you know anyone, anyone, 42. Um, 42 is what we can put. And since we have two negatives, they cancel each other out, and we get an answer of positive 42. So what we can write in our box is a negative times a negative equals a positive answer. So this sometimes is the hardest one to remember. But it's why we're doing this in the notes, and that's why we're going to do some practice questions in a second. Just got to remember those two negative signs cancel each other out. Let's try some practice questions in the box in kind of your middle section of your brochure right next to this to the right. It says multiplying integer practice. Let me put two uh, practice problems for you guys to work on, and then we can see if we did them correctly as a class. Let's try negative 13 times something like uh, 16 and then for number two right here let's do negative 21 times negative 15 I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and work on these independently and we'll end the video here and then we'll go over these as a class and see if we did this correctly uh, it's important to do your multiplication accurately, but then to also flip back in your notes and make sure your answer is has the correct sign. Is it going to be positive? Is it going to be negative? Go back and uh, check it out and make sure that um, you have that information in there correctly. Um, good luck.